maintaining an even balance of power in your relationships in Thailand. All right, Sunday morning. Uh, I want to go through. Uh, so what do you call? My neighbor across the street, really nice guy. They're always helping me. I, I give them food and stuff. I've, I've mentioned it before. They, they won't take any money. Uh, and that's a good sign. And you can do that on a regular basis. I, I offer money for things. Um, and, uh, you know, do they, do, you know, how, where, where do they kind of, where are they kind of drawing the line and what do they want from me, you know? And uh, um, that helps. Uh, and today I want to kind of talk about balance of power in Thailand, you know, and, uh, you know, I mean, you know, so the Thais hold all the cards, or many, most, not all, important distinction, we're going to talk about that in a minute, but uh, they hold a lot of cards in the deck. They hold language, culture, they know where all the good places are, all, where you need, you know, uh, some hardware to fix something, and you will fix something when you're here, there's going to be something that needs to be fixed. You're going to want to get a haircut, you're going to want to go get a nice lunch, you're going to you know, all these things, and the Thais have amazing knowledge of every little place in their village. They, 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 have, they know everything. Um, and that's because, like we talked before, a uh, neighbor driving by, older, so I bowed a little deeper and a little slower. Um, I should have saw what him, but I got my selfie stick and my mug of coffee, so he's not getting a, a why, a why this morning. But, um... Uh, because they don't really talk about, you know, the war in Ukraine or, you know, whatever, um, to talk about all the things proximate to their lives, they're fantastic knowledge of everything around. They're just, they're just natural tour guides. And, and so, um, that is all that, that, it's really useful and helpful and fun and great and, 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 and getting to know people and stuff. It's just a lot of fun. So you're going to have expat friends, but you're going to want some Thai friends. And your Thai lady is going to be that gateway to all these other people that really help you. Um, now, a lot of the time, they, they're going to want to talk, and you're going to, you're going to feel excluded from the conversation, and that's okay. You've got to get over that. Uh, that's just the Thai way. They want to gossip and, you know, put doom, put doom, gossip. It's the national pastime here. I cannot over... Uh, emphasize that point. They, they love gossip, and and uh, they'll they'll gossip about you and and where you're from and all that. And they're going to ask a ton of questions. You'll hear, you know, uh, things about your age or you know whatever. You'll kind of know they're talking about you a little bit. But it won't be. It, it isn't a bad thing. Okay, it isn't a bad thing. It's just the way it is. Um, but then you know you're going to come up with a plan, and you're going to you're going to say you know I'm going to be a nice guy on as I'm here. I'm going to share a little bit. I'm going to be, but you don't want to be a doormat, you know. And and you set yourself up to to being scammed. You know, a scammer will see that in you, man. They'll be all over you. And almost everyone's first girlfriend here is a scammer. They're that good. So you know, um, I I kind of keep track in the back of my head what I'm doing, what I'm spending, who I'm spending it on, and I make sure that it's equitable in some way that I'm not being taken advantage of, you know. And by having that card and by managing that, and when I've been mad at my girlfriend, nope, I'm not paying for that. No, I'm not doing that. Nope, 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 nope. She learned, and she, she, she verbalized it to me. <laughs> That's cute. Little tiny kid on a scooter with her dad. Um, and she verbalized it to me, and, and our relationship was better after that. Um, you know, they have to get used to you as you have to get used to them. They don't know what to think of you. I mean, you're this all this knowledge you have that they're they're they don't really have had, haven't had access to um all this money that you have that they're never going to have access to they they don't know what to make of you or what to do with you you know and you're so different um you know if you're if you're more even if you're not fully immersed like me and you're just semi-immersed or something you're in say the city of Colat or something or you're you know whatever or you're just living full-time on, on the outskirts of Pattaya not in not on like walking street or something you know um you know, uh, there's still your Thai lady and, and her friends and stuff in the periphery. Uh, they may not have really interacted with a Western guy before much, you know, and it's all new and different to them. So it's kind of, to me, it's a cool chance to show them who we are, that we're good people. You don't need to be afraid of us or anything like that because some of them are scared. Some of them are, you know, whatever. You have to, you know, these prejudices and preconceived notions and stuff. And, uh, but you want to keep that, that, that money card is kind of your big card. And so, 
you, you, you need to be, as I've said before, security precautions, be very safe with everything. I pay cash for everything. I don't really use credit. I have my girlfriend help me. You can go to an ATM and punch in codes and all these, every business has a code, every business and, and every person has a code, every person. And you can punch in a code and send anybody or any entity money of any amount out of your bank account right at an ATM. You just punch, 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 punch away. And I trust her. I get the receipt and I see the money goes to the right spot. And it, none of it's like, you know, so much money. It'd be ever worth it for anyone to, to burn me to take that amount of money and go somewhere. Uh, I enter in my ATM code. Um, you know, my, my iPhone, iPad are, are locked and coded. Um, you know, everything is, is coded. I have a, a cabinet in the house that's got just one key to it that's, you know, they can get, but, but it, it's awkward and that would, I'd probably know. And I just keep my passport and stuff in there and it's a big heavy oak cabinet like thing or teak actually. So you know, I, just, I just have some basic security that I do and my house has the security bars on it. You will get stolen from as the local village Falang. If you don't have bars and things on your windows, they will, uh, again, ties don't like to be, uh, caught or seen doing anything bad because it's incredibly embarrassing into their whole family and your Thai girlfriend could gossip them on Facebook and make you make them give all the money back plus a penalty and the police will support that. I've said that before but that that's crazy here but that's that's true and there's strict 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 privacy laws so and they're enforced so you need to be careful about your gossip. We'll do a thing on gossip sometime but um so back to security and balance of power so so, you know, share, you know, dinner, but you should be getting even your Thai people and there, and I've got some Thai friends who are really quite poor. Even the other Thais think they're kind of poor. So, and they insist on paying with me sometimes and they, they insist on, on not accepting my money or my gifts sometimes. There shouldn't be a constant stream of hands out. Again, a scammer gets you by, that's our culture, that's what we do. They make up these little rules, and the rules are close or almost kind of 70% true to what's true. And it makes it very hard as a foreigner here who's unfamiliar to, to, to not know it's a scam. And that's what this, these videos are all about. That's how I got gotten. And that's how all of my friends got gotten. The scammers, they know this very well. Um, so there should be some sharing. And particularly with your Thai lady, she should be you know, finding you the better price. Like when I want to buy something, she just starts scouring the local internet. And then here there's, uh, I'll go through a thing on shopping sometime, but instead of Amazon, we have Shopee and Lazada. And they're like Amazon with a decimal point moved over one. They're, it's insanely cheap. Uh, I've got a new 4K 60 frame per second camera coming, uh, like a GoPro. Uh, and I got a, 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 I didn't get the cheapest one. I got like a pretty nice one, pretty feature rich. And it was like $70. Um, you know, delivered, you know, uh, stuff like that. It, it's, I mean, the selfie stick I'm using is super feature rich. It does like all kinds of things. And, uh, um, I think I paid like two or three dollars for it. I mean, everything is super cheap here. And your girlfriend should be finding you deals like, like, like with fun, you know, she, it's almost hard for me to spend money. She's very managing of that. Now she wants me to then spend money on her and her boys, mostly her boys, not herself. Uh, I would argue with her to buy her shoes the other day, but I really want to get her some nicer shoes. Um, I've offered to buy her boy shoes for school a couple times, and she's kind of just got let that slide. So I'm not going to push that on anybody. That's her cultural choice. If she wants him going to school in kind of crappy old shoes, that's, I guess I'm not going to argue about it. But that's what should be happening for you. you, you it shouldn't be a constant, and I see a lot of expats, and they're really being bled dry. Um, and, and you can find girls that aren't like that. You can, they're... This Isan culture is a good culture, and, and there are reasons it's world famous. You know, there's reasons you found this video, and one of the hashtags I use, I try to use all the time is this one. I forget to put it on sometimes, but enough of my videos have it. You can find the channel. And um, there's a reason it's so popular, and they can be really nice. Yes, yeah, sure, there are some cutthroat people, and, there's, you know, and, and as they get into a bigger city, they modernize, and they start thinking about angles and how they can get ahead financially, because now they want that new fancy bag, and they, they, they get you know materialistic and just all these dumb things we start chasing that don't make us happy. So, um, uh, so, so you should be, so I go and I manage my budget by taking out um, a certain amount of money every, usually every Sunday, like today, I did it last night, but you know, usually every Sunday. And then um, I just spend cash throughout the week. I don't, I don't, I have a local credit card. I don't use it. I've never used it. Um, uh, I have my, uh, uh, when I, before I came here, I, I had an Apple card in my own name. I kept that in the divorce 
and I use my Apple card to buy things on the internet that are global. If I want like a, a storage from Google or Apple or uh, um, uh, uh, there's a book uh, depository in the UK, I have books sent to me. I'm a big reader. And uh, um, yeah, I, I use my card for that and fun has no idea what that is. Uh, if I want to buy some motorcycle parts, I don't want anybody to know what they really cost or what, you know, kind of what I, what I, you know, what all that's about. Um, I can use that, you know, that kind of stuff. And, uh, and, and so that's kind of how I manage my money and, and, I, and I just make sure I'm getting things back. But, you know, you'll, you'll go to dinner with a, your Thai girl and, her, and some Thai friends or, you know, her girlfriends, maybe a couple guys. Always watch the guys. Even if they've got lady friends, it's very common for a Thai man to have one, almost always at least one they call geek, which is a side piece, a side, side lady. Um, but it's not uncommon for them to have four or five. You want to make sure your Thai girlfriend isn't one of them. Oldest scam in the world is uh, uh, you know, lady befriends you, becomes really close to you, and then she's got a cousin or a brother or something. She generally won't say friend because they don't want to imply there could be sex, so they'll, they'll say cousin or something and that's the real boyfriend and you're paying for him be real 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 careful of that um said my girlfriend's got one guy friend that she's close with and uh i i, I still watch him carefully although i do trust him i i do really i'm you know pretty much 100 percent positive i feel 100 percent. i just don't believe in anything being 100 percent in life but um that nothing's going on and i and i've made it clear that he would want to be afraid of me uh so, you know, as I've said before, I've got a I've got a pretty significant martial arts background, um, and uh, I want to make I want to make sure that he knew that he really didn't want a problem with me, uh, and, he, and I think he doesn't. And uh, we all get along well. I'm really good friends with his uh, his girlfriend. Haven't met his wife yet. Um, and uh, this is Thailand, man. It's crazy. So. Um, uh, but you, they'll, they'll talk, they'll gossip, you go to dinner and here you're paying for dinner or you're going to be paying for probably, like if there's five or six people, often I'll just chip in for half and let them, you know, bang on, share and figure out the other half or something like that. But sometimes they refuse my money. They say, no, 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 we need to share, we need to share, we need to share, bang on, bang on. And, and so, uh, fine. Um, sometimes they say bing, bing. Uh, but bang on is the word. And, uh, um, and, that, and, and you should be getting that. Same with your girlfriend. It shouldn't all be this and that. And again, Thai girls don't like going out to dinner that much unless they're really modernized. Um, then they'll want to show dinner, 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 and tons of gold bot and lots of expensive clothes. But if you're getting that kind of reaction from a girl, that's, uh, that's a shade of gray. You're, you're in some kind of scam, I would think, more than likely. Uh, a real Thai lady that wants a real relationship because... Uh, now, why do they want us other than just money and a scam? So, uh, it's going to be social status. It's going to be having a man that isn't going to cheat on them and have five girlfriends. We tend not to do that. Um, it's going to be they have children or want to have a child. And they want a dad that's going to stay around. We tend to stay around. Um, uh, in addition to all that, the Thai men can be very hard on their women, both physically and emotionally. More emotionally, but there is definitely some physical going on here too. But um, they can be very neglectful, uh, very neglectful. And uh, that's uh, noi jai. They'll noi jai their, their ladies, uh, which literally means small heart. You get such little, res little, such little respect and regard and treatment, your heart shrinks. That's the uh, concept behind the, how that their thinking is. So they get noi jai and uh, they don't like it. We don't do that. We pay attention, we open doors, we tend to be around, we take parenting seriously in the Western culture. We don't just have kids and run off and have kids and run off and have kids and run off. And then that's real common here. That's super common, super common. I don't want to sound judgy, I, I, you know, but just, it's just very common here. It's, it's, it's endemic, okay? So it's just is what it is. I'm just, I'm just reporting the facts. So those are reasons a Thai lady will want you. And if those aren't motivations for her, you know, there's, there's no status at her job or in her standing in her family she seems to be focused on. And my girlfriend is focused on that. Doesn't have kids. My girlfriend's got two kids. She's very focused on me kind of being a, a figurehead for her kids. I don't do a whole lot because Thai men aren't expected to do a whole lot, but they can point to me and say, you know, I'm kind of like half a dad or something to them. It's not a whole, I know it's not a whole deal. I know that. I can, I can see the difference, but I'm happy with it. And I told her I can't do a whole lot because, you know, I don't want you to get into all that, but I just can't. So, um, that's kind of your balance of power. So it shouldn't just be all about money, but you do have to share a little bit. And this is how it gets to be such a sticky situation. This is how it gets 
tough because you, you, you want to share and help and manage, but now you don't want to be taken advantage of. And they're going to talk and gossip and switch to Thai and talk Thai right in front of you. And, and, and you're not going to feel very included in the conversation. You've got to be big enough to be self-confident, to bow out and just look at your phone and text some of your buddies and go, yeah, I'm at dinner or whatever. And then, but they should circle back to you. Or if you say, what was that? You know, uh, translate is bleh, bleh, bleh. You know, and you can just say the word translate. And I'm going to teach how to say a sentence in Thai. It'll take me all day, but, or all hour, an hour. But uh, um, you could, if you just say bleh, they know that's translate, you know. Or if you just look and nod and put your hands up and shrug like, what? What are you talking about? They'll know what you mean, you know. Uh, they should include you a little bit. They should. And you shouldn't be a lot of eye rolls and negativity. It shouldn't be like that. And if you never butt in and never ask for anything, sometimes they need to just uh, have their Thai stuff and, uh, um, and have a conversation. Sometimes there's so much stress at my girlfriend's work, they just got to get that all out and they got to all talk because they're all upset about what somebody said or did to somebody today. But um, sometimes they should be really including you and, and even, even if it's a, 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 been a hard day for them, they all the stuff they got to talk about, they should circle back to you at some point in some kind of glad-hearted way and not just when the bill comes, okay? And the, I'm trying to give you guys some lines to draw and some gauges to, barometers to use to know if you're being treated within a reasonable way here. And uh, that should be a couple of things for you. So, so keep your money tight. You can use it. It's a big card in the deck. Really, you have to learn to use it appropriately. I'll keep revisiting this subject because it is an important one here. This is really how we all get taken advantage of and scammed. And I'm hoping that, God, at least a couple of you guys, your first girlfriend that you end up deciding to have a girlfriend is not an actual professional scammer. Yeah, just, it'd be nice if just once that would happen. It's so common here. All right, bye.